Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the flawless run where I'm trying to beat the game on Legendary Iron Man difficulty. Try to be as informative and educative for those who are just joining the game and at the same time try to lose no soldiers, uh, no missions and matter of fact trying to flawless as many of the missions as possible. So today it is Operation Golden Vagabond and it's time to neutralize a uh, target or capture it so it's a dark vip mission and we want to capture it of course bringing partially the prime team uh, with us uh, specifically 8.5 and enders might as well give them some more ranks uh, got ba uh, bastard here for the death from above shenanigans and then the rest is really filled up wrath is going to be our scout in this uh, particular uh, one because we might run into the um, assassin uh, if uh, everything goes well though that won't happen so let's go boys let's go all right and we landed so dark vip here that's quite a bit but we have 14 turns that's plenty and then the evex zone over there uh, let's go boys let's go first off we're going to scout ahead with our wrath i say we're taking some high ground here oh look at you andromedons that's nasty good i'll continue to keep uh the the grappling hook how about we're going to here that way we can grapple up next turn if we're engaging the ones uh, that do have death from above should go and use it hmm could go here All right. That'll give us a great position on top of the roof. And we're fighting against the Chosen, as predicted. So she had some training since the last time that we saw her. Still immune to melee, still immune to overwatch, can now summon uh, beasts, which would be faceless ones and chrysalids at that point in the game and creates shielding this one here is nasty so we need to hit her and she still does not like the reapers blah blah yeah keep telling that uh, your, uh to yourself chosen assassin's energy signature she's moving on the squad's position commander interesting lots of civilians here of course each of them can be a faceless Let's scout out what we're dealing with. All right, multiple hostiles. Got a tower over here, which we could hack. I don't uh, know what kind of hack we could expect from it. Fantastic, good position there. Sona does not need the high ground as much as the others. I'll just position him here in case someone comes through here. We're still having plenty of time. Good. Very nice overwatch here. Chosen begins to move. She will take. So she spawned. Move number one. Move number two. We've got to be a little bit careful now to spot her out. Oh, come on. The shadows fail us. I see many things in the shadows. 
Fabulous. Meaningless facilities. The elders build another in its place. We've got our shot at the chosen. Let's make sure it counts. Okay, before we're doing anything, let's make sure that we are adequately prepared. Moving. Ignoring uh, the ignoring the andromedon for now simply because it takes way too much to kill it removing as much of uh, her cover and shredding her Okay, mm. look, we do have a frost bomb, which could be helpful for us. Might as well use that to our advantage. Can we hit the Andromedon is the question. Yes, we can. That would crowd control it completely for one round. not close enough if we want to if we want to use the mimic beacon they all need to be able to see it all right running and gunning Let's go, baby. Planking over here, which is nice. We need to continue to shred her. And unfortunately, uh, Vincent is not in range. We can use this here, however, as a mimic beacon. So that here would definitely work for everyone. Vince can move up. We'll keep him for the Mimic Beacon. Got a combat protocol if needed. Um, and I potentially will just uh, feed you. Uh, that's a really good chance to kill. Um, the Chosen needs to die this round, so we gotta make sure that she is very well shredded. We'll do exactly that. Oh, that Reaper doesn't have shredding. Okay, fair enough. Well. Oh, she's immune to melee. Never mind. That was stupid because um, that even counts as a melee take, although it is a throwing attack. Cool, yeah, run away, run away. Good chance of uh, continuing to kill uh, the sector. 
But I think what we're going to do is we're unloading on the Chosen. Air trigger comes at the right time. I cannot be so easily dissuaded. Munition in esaurimento. I am with you. Good, we got one more shot. Chosen down. So good. Keep telling that yourself. I'm sure we'll see them again, but that chosen sure wasn't expecting the fight we put up today, Commander. Dromedon is out of order. I could go in deeper, but I think what we're doing instead is. A protocoling to the Reaper with threat assessment that'll make him less of a target. Full cover against everything uh, except the um, Archon, and we got untouchable on our Rangers, so we should be fine. Of course, things are just becoming more and more difficult. But we got a second Mimic Beacon for next round, so I still think we're okay. Uh, that was the most unfortunate target. At least we don't need to deal with shields. Alright. Uh, going for a mind spin or reanimate potentially, right? Ooh, well, interesting. That would be a good one, but that would be an awesome one. Moving the Reaper a little bit further back. Stand clear. That's uh, 22 points of damage. Hard to argue with that not being uh, the optimal play there. Okay, so what we can do is we can start working on a couple of fronts here. I need the Mimic Beacon. We still get teamwork, so that's fine. Ignore the Andromedon um, for now. On my way. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Um, how secure is this hit? 80% not good enough of a crit actually and we need to soften up this guy let's start with hopefully softening him up fantastic
Um, hmm. That would be a setup for the shotgun to uh, to kill. All right, we're ig we're ignoring any further movement. We're just staying here for now. That's a kill. That's hopefully a kill. Nope, that's a miss. Interesting. But we get some hair trigger. There we go. That's the kill I was looking for. Reloading. Preparing the Andromedon. Nice little hit. Move up. And I just need to make sure that the Mimic Beacon is well inside of both of uh, the uh, these. Okay. Good. Let's take care of the sector. And of course, trigger another pack. Because it wouldn't be XCOM if that wouldn't have happened. I'm going to deal with them in a second. Hit the Andromedon. No, 97% shot missed. All right. Well, you know what they say. It happens to the best, right? Okay, it wouldn't be a kill. to deal with these guys in a second advancing teamwork over there and let's use dual strike to make sure that this thing goes down Minimum damage. Some more damage. And we're using death from above to finish. Should be able to reach uh, stealth. Who's seeing us? Who's spotting us out?
You do have untouchable, so I'm banking on that fact a little bit. There's still a um, blade master here if uh, needed, but I'll take the uh, safe uh, the safe way out. Good. Which now means this uh, mech is the only one that is left. Will take a shot at us or not, and instead decide to Overwatch, which is a bit weird. We're going very close so that we do have the option for blade storm. Remove overwatch. And that hair trigger is got sent. Moves to here. Comet protocol deals a heavy amount of damage. That's a kill, and with it, implacable plus untouchable. Continuing to move back. Take that. Advanced repeater and the core. The core is good because that means we can finally upgrade grenades. Sure, have we finally managed to kill everyone? My life is in your hands. Yeah. Alright, no one left. Which means we do have plenty of turns. Haha, <laughs> very nice. Yeah, cool. Should have seen that earlier. That would have made the fight much, much, much easier. take high ground wherever possible because very soon there are going to be reinforcements I just want to make sure that we're ready for that sonar can be the one carrying okay cool that worked out well now, one more round so that everybody is in a good position. of turn fabulous now this will trigger reinforcements there's a way up here which is quicker
Good, as for you, move all the way up there. Overwatch, reload, overwatch, overwatch, and I should have reloaded. The reinforcements are now going to spawn. Uh, that's a really poor place to spawn reinforcements because it could mean that we're destroying the target zone. Luckily for us, that's not a problem because we're already out of here. Okay, that mission demonstrated uh, the utilization of um, of mimic beacons as well as crowd control. The frost grenade is actually quite helpful. Uh, if I would have gone for the Andromedon much earlier, uh, that would have uh, just so so much damage instead. Focusing on the chosen, get her off the battle uh, field. Try to somewhat uh, maneuver through the rest, and then. Uh, essentially kill as many as possible in the first turn, which I think worked out very well. Excellent work, Commander. Your efforts continue to bolster the resistance movement across the globe. Fantastic. Good. We don't need supplies at the moment. I think we were hmm. We were actually okay with supplies. But if we scan them, something you will spawn, which is what I'm hoping will happen. Beam weapons also should come through any moment. A little bit shy on Elarium, but the rest is okay. There we go. We got the Viper King Autopsy. We're going to do that immediately. And we need to do Archon Autopsy into Plasma Lands uh, next. Powered armor is a great option as well, but I think I want more firepower for now. The mysteries of the chosen's creation. When inspired, our team is actually quite efficient. Despite an extensive study of Dr. Valen's research reports, I have yet to discover how she came to the product. Good. Uh, the Archon also gives us the highest level of melee weapons, which is a nice uh, side effect. Um, let's do plasma grenades first. I'll send word when the project is complete. And I have to wonder... How can we reshift anyone? Hmm. This here, by the way, is incorrect. There is no idle staffing. All right, I think we're just going to empty that and put it over here because I want the plasma grenades faster. Just give In terms of engineering, let's upgrade beam cannons. Uh, shy of Alarium crystals, that's unfortunate. Good. We got the Viper suit, which in itself is going to be helpful for us. So that'll be fine. Wow, can this please not ruin my uh, day by continuously teasing me? Thank you. All right. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. You have made considerable Good. We will need to get her down now. Training, not a problem. And uh, we will need to get him down next. Not a problem, not a problem. Uh, I don't know. That is good. Uh, double agent is helpful. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Got plenty of supplies. Let's take a look at our team at the moment. 
Are we ready for the Chosen? No, we're not. Six days. Uh, let's finish the turret here and we're going in with the Prime team. Strategic resource located. Good. More supplies, which I think what we're going to do is... I would like this here to be built first. Pursue of knowledge. Well, we don't have a laboratory, but it's fine. Setting course for the Indonesian zone. That'll give us access to another facility. Might as well do that. We have plenty of intel. More than we can uh, use. But he's ready to invade us now. And we have a haven assault at our hands. All right, cool. Good. I, after the covert, uh, covert action mission, I think I'll just put Paul even tired onto that mission. So we can uh, go right after that. Uh, taking both of you with us, great. We don't have a Reaper because you are tired. On the other hand, we could just ignore that and... Because I want uh, the Reaper uh, when we're hunting the Chosen. Might as well take him with us. Lance gets another shot and I need a sniper. Shinrod would be good. All right. Typical combination. Lance uh, will get that and Mimic Beacon, Mimic Beacon. This uh, might be one of those missions where we're going to run into um, into an alien ruler. So let's prepare for that. And Wilson goes for the frost bomb. That's good. And for more blue screen rounds. So got two blue screen rounds. That's fine. Against anti robots. I'm wondering if I would want to give you more blue screen rounds. Hmm. Might not be the worst idea. In terms of weapon upgrades, what else do we have? An advanced repeater. And we're struggling with uh, PCSs and uh, with uh, weapon mods. Not the end of the world, but yeah, we it could have been a bit better. Okay, more Larium would be helpful. Anything else that we would want to take? No, 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 no. You know what? Instead of the third Mimic Beacon, that's not bad. There will be robotic enemies, uh, specifically mechs, uh, and also to remove shields, this is not bad. So... I think that's okay. Let's go. Sky Ranger deployed. Menace ready to deploy. Encampment in this area. 
Our people are doing what they can to fight back, but we need to help protect the civilians trapped nearby. There's a good high uh, high ground here, which is fantastic. Move in and help fend off the attacking alien forces. I go where you tell me. Alrighty. Lifting on. Moves up. Great. Copy that. And we are just Step double moving. Running. Best it could be on high ground, but that unfortunately is likely too far away for anything to meaningfully happen so instead so, so, let's so. do this here overwatch chrysalids Urgh. It's about that time of the year where the little chrysalids begin to spawn. It was never really their size we had to worry about. Very good, yeah, focus the chrysalid. Good job. And he's showing us where the other pack is at, which is back here. Couple of berserkers. Okay, we're doing well. Another trissel it down. Wilson moves up, marks and very much shoots the chrysalid. After playing against the Hive, which is my run where I uh, played with very, very limited equipment against the Hive, I think that none of this here really scares me. This should apply burning. 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 Okay, it apparently does not. Good. And let's do this here. Nah, it will ruin our own cover. Let's not do the. Hmm. This is just eight. And we're looking at like what? Another ten. Not a kill. 
But it wouldn't be a kill uh, with double whammy either. Conserving a couple of um, items. These guys will attack the civilians anyways. Hair trigger? No. Funny. The three hit points were the difference between life and death for him. <laughs> Mind shield, my dude. Nice try. The resistance team is in the clear. Good, we got four. And everybody else is pushing forward. There's a large group of civilians pinned down within range of your position. Sensors indicate hostile forces are closing in fast. We need to get in there before the aliens slaughter those people. All right, Redford. Roger that. My life is in your hands. Let's spot out what we're dealing with. And at the same time, uh, we can just run in the open. Dashing forward. I wanted to get a little bit uh, closer, but we killed the first two packs so quickly, but... Ah, uh, that was not good. We killed the first two packs so quickly that they are um, now starting to engage here. It's a bit of a problem. a good time to be missing anything here I tell you what this here will give us a lot of movement and a kill which is why I've done it keenly aware that we've now triggered uh, this pack which means a psionic bomb is uh, likely to be incoming Careful with the chrysalids, very careful with the chrysalids. Moving out. Yeah, we're too far, we're too far away. All we can do now is minimize the impact, which is spread out. This here would be too close that tr uh, triggers another pack. We're just going to stand here for now. And we're going to get as close as possible to high ground with Bastard. Good, that makes it more interesting. The faces once come out of hiding. There's the psionic bomb. Was bound to hit at least two people.
This here is a problem. The chrysalids are a big, big problem. We need to uh, focus them. Good, one codex gone. Please don't shoot the codex. Please. Reloading is fine. Oh, it's okay. Hit the berserk, do whatever you want, but ignore the codex. Thank you. Wonderful. Okay, what I would want to do is deal with the chrysalids first. And the way of doing this is a bit unorthodox, but I still believe it's the right uh, thing to do. We just need to contain them and we don't have the firepower to just get everything down at the moment. But a triple frost bomb is a very convincing case. Because that the pieces uh, the this entire flank for a complete turn. In the meantime, we're getting a bit closer. Solve this issue here once and for all. Good, we got blue screen rounds loaded. And I think this year... Oh, EMP does not immediately solve that problem. Interesting. Um, but I know what we can do. Which is remove cover. There you go. Now it's only half cover for our sniper. And said sniper is going to kill the codex. There you go. Death from above. I should learn by now, but uh, Vince does not have that ability. We're staying out of uh, the explosion. And we're moving closer. Another berserker. And okay. Defy cold. Difficult, difficult, difficult. Alright, if everybody focuses on that berserker, it's not that bad. But if you are, of course, choosing to ignore focus fire, then it is bad. And by the way, blocking my high ground was a fantastic tactical uh, option. Okay, you spread out the damage as much as you could. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Uh, no autoloader, right? Okay. That's unfortunate. Ce la posso fare? Uh, 
I'll take what I can get. I'll take what I can get, which in this case is not a lot. Um, the frozen ones are thawed next round. That is not bad because thawed means they can move less. Over the same amount of damage as uh, with our as uh, with our gun, but we're shredding on top of it. Um, we work over. Moves over here. Fantastic. Didn't even need dual shot. Didn't even need dual shot. Okay, cool. Want to get this chrysalid down? No death from above, unfortunately. If we miss, that's three points of damage, plus it's a nice setup. Okay. Not great, but okay. get that chrysalid down it's a bit of an oddity to use a grenade for that but it's enough damage to get him into critical uh, into critical range yeah okay sure crit would have uh, solved it but I didn't want to be revealed Wilson gets a nice little A protocol and the chrysalids can see this mimic beacon so they should be going for it. Berserker might be a different case but Berserker should not be quick enough to reach us. So much for being thrawed. And so much for the Mimic Beacon, which apparently only one of them could see. Lots of hit points to go through. Finally, you found out that focusing fire is better than randomly shooting at uh, stuff. What a surprise, eh?
Good. Reload. And let's get this chrysalid down. There is the death from above. blocked okay grapple up here yeah, and we can't see him from there disappointing another civilian and then the guy will go down yeah look the mission itself went well you can always improve a little bit on uh, the small details it was just a couple of unlucky uh, things that added up uh, mimic beacon being in line of sight but then not like fully in line of sight you always have a, a dual net uh, in order to in order to prevent chaos from happening. Um, meaning Wilson who was in the front had the A protocol just in case it uh, wouldn't have worked out. But yeah, typical case of unfortunate circumstances. Give you that. Bastard doesn't really have the points yet to go uh, for holo targeting. We'll do that in the future. And you thought I talked too much, Commander. How about these chosen, huh? Okay, cool. Good. There we go, Blade Storm. Okay, cool. Avenger plotting new course. Uh, 
Uh, oh, should have finished the radio relay. Not the end of the world. I'll do that off screen. All right, so mobility increased, more resistance contacts, fantastic. We, however, need to work on this guy here. And we need to work on him ASAP, which means as much as we can reduce the time, we are going to do that. So second team is gonna go in and um, is going to do this here in 13 days. Just double checking really quickly that I'm not missing out on something like ultra good. This here could be, for instance, plasma uh, weapons breakthrough, which it is not. So DM. Wilson and really anyone could cover this. Let's use Lyrical. And sorry for taking that long here, but if we put them on the mission, we don't want to give them a great loadout. There you go, that's your loadout and that is your loadout, fantastic. Because we're soon going to fight the Chosen and I want the best equipment. There we go. My followers will lead this action to victory. Now, I think we are ready. With the exception of uh, our specialist, we're pretty much ready with the prime team, which means a next uh, the next mission for us will be to infiltrate the stronghold. Uh, that'll happen, however, in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you very soon. Bye-bye.